You have just received an RS medical stimulator. This video will show you how to use and care for the stimulator at home. However, it's also important to read the operation manual for detailed instructions. The stimulator comes in a handy carrying case that includes everything you need. The RS-2M stimulator, a set of cables, a battery charger, a package of reusable self-adhesive pads, an instruction manual full of helpful tips, the instructional videotape you are watching, patient information forms, and a white plastic return mailbag. The stimulator is easy to set up and use. First, remove the cables and the pads from the case. You will notice that the cables are colored at each end. The colors are designed to help you set up the stimulator. Choose one color to represent channel 1 and the other to represent channel 2. It doesn't matter which color goes with which channel. While keeping the pads on their plastic sheets, slide the tails of each pad over the metal ends of the cables. Each cable holds two pads. The pads attached to the channel 1 cable will be the channel 1 pads. The pads attached to the channel 2 cable will be the channel 2 pads. Before taking a treatment, clean your skin with soap and water where the pads will go. You may also use rubbing alcohol if your skin is not sensitive. Make sure to dry your skin completely. Find a comfortable place to sit for any leg or arm treatments. Next, slowly remove one pad at a time from its plastic sheet. Do not pull on the tail of the pad. Place each pad on your skin according to your prescription. Press down firmly on each pad so it sticks. Next, plug the cables into the channel jacks on the top of the stimulator. Use the cable colors to place the cables into the correct jacks. If you are taking a treatment on your back or neck, sit or lie down so that you are leaning against the pads. When the pads are pressed against your skin, you will increase the comfort of the stimulation. Now you're ready to take a treatment. Press the power on off button to turn on the stimulator. All lights will flash green and the light next to your treatment setting will remain lit. The stimulator is programmed to contract and relax your muscles. The treatment setting on the left determines the amount of time your muscles will contract. The settings on the right determine the amount of time your muscles will relax in between contractions. Use both channel keys to control the intensity of your treatment. The channel 1 key controls the intensity of the stimulation being delivered to the channel 1 pads. The channel 2 key controls the channel 2 pads. Press the plus end of either key to start the treatment and to increase the intensity of the treatment. Press the minus end to decrease intensity. The keys will click and beep when pressed correctly and the channel indicator lights will turn on to show you when stimulation is being delivered to the pads for that channel. For comfort, only increase the intensity of a treatment when the channel indicator light is on. As you increase the intensity during a treatment, you may feel a tingling on your skin and your muscles may contract. This is normal. Increase the intensity as instructed by your medical professional or RS medical representative. Then relax and allow the stimulator to treat your muscle. A complete treatment will last 40 minutes. When a treatment is complete, the stimulator will automatically turn off. The intensity will return to zero and the channel indicator lights will turn off. The battery indicator light will glow red to remind you to charge the stimulator. If you need to stop the stimulator before a treatment is done, press the power on off button. The stimulator will turn off and the current treatment will end. To properly remove and store the stimulator, Carefully peel each pad from your skin and place back on the plastic sheets. Do not pull on the tail, it may damage the pads. 
For your convenience, leave the pads connected to the cables and the cables plugged into the stimulator. Roll the cables loosely to keep them from getting tangled. It's very important that you recharge the stimulator after each treatment or any time that the battery indicator light glows red. To recharge the battery, first plug the battery charger into a standard 110 volt electrical outlet. Next, plug the other end of the battery charger into the battery charger jack at the top of the stimulator. The battery indicator light will glow yellow when the stimulator is charging and change to green when the stimulator is fully charged. If the battery indicator light does not turn on at all, try another outlet. If the stimulator still won't charge, call a customer service representative at 800-935-7763. Continuously charge the stimulator when not in use. It cannot be overcharged. RS Medical will send you a new package of pads every month for your convenience. To help your pads last an entire month, do the following. Clean your skin with soap and water or rubbing alcohol before every treatment. Store the pads on their plastic sheets. You can also use wax paper. If pads feel dry, Rub a few drops of water over the gel surface of the pad and wait about 10 minutes. The gel should become tacky. If pads become too moist and slippery, put them in the refrigerator. Check them every 10 minutes until they become tacky. At the end of your prescription, you will be asked to return the stimulator to RS Medical. To return the stimulator, Use the white plastic return mail bag found in the carrying case. Pack the stimulator and all the accessories into the carrying case. Place the case into the mail bag and seal the bag. The postage for the mail bag has been prepaid. Just drop off the package at any U.S. Post Office location. To learn more about the stimulator, please read the operations manual. If you have any problems with the stimulator, read the troubleshooting section of the operations manual or call customer service at 800-935-7763. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your RS Medical Stimulator.